Hi guys, it is Sunday and I thought I would do a little bit different of a video for you guys for cleaning motivation. So I woke up this morning late and I have company coming over in a few hours and I thought I would take you on a journey on how I hurry to scramble. Maybe I can tell you something you don't already know about getting ready for company. I don't know. But I just thought that I would quickly kind of share some tips along the way of getting ready for my company to come over. For a quick clean, always make sure that you have all of your cleaning products all together. And then, you know, I always run pine salt and water in the sink so I can give this bathroom a quick wipe down. And right there in the hall, I always hang a trash bag to make sure that I have a place to empty all the garbages so that I don't have to run back and forth from the front of the house to the back of the house to get all of my supplies together. So the first thing I'm going to tackle is bathrooms. They are clean. I just want to freshen them up before anybody arrives. I always make sure I put out a clean hand towel, make sure that the soap dispenser is full, make sure that there's plenty of toilet paper on the roll, the garbage can is clean, and definitely make sure that your toilet is tidy. And I also give a spruce down with Lysol spray just to make sure that everything is disinfected. And right before they arrive, I will light a candle. And this bathroom will be done, and it took about three minutes to do. Always make sure you make your bed before your guests arrive because your room might be out of sorts, but a lot of times a made bed can make a room look 100% better. So that is what I'm going to do now is go through the house and make sure that all the beds are made. Okay, my bed is all tidy. The garbages are gathered in here and all I have to do now is um, straighten up the hallway. Okay, so now I'm going to give this Cario of mine that I keep photographs in, um, I'm going to give it a good wipe down because obviously we have to go through this hallway area to get to the bathroom. So I just want to make sure that this area is nice and tidy and make sure that the floor is good and swept, which I've already done. So I'm going to wipe this down and I'm going to use this clean screen. I'm out of regular... Um, Windex, and I also love the glass cleaning microfiber cloths from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to give this a whirl and get this cleaned up. That is good and clean. In fact, what an improvement. The last time I cleaned it, for whatever reason, it seemed like it streaked really badly and looked horrible. Now it's all clean and tidy and looks good. I'm happy. So I'm done with the haul. I swept the hall. This area is all tidied up. And now I'm coming into my living room. And what I do is I just sweep through the house and I make one big pile. Yes, as a mom, you have kids with unwanted pets. And this hamster is unnerving. Every day I clean up that pile. Every single morning <laughs> it kicks that stuff out. But I have a plan for that thing. I'm actually going to get a tray, bigger tray, and set this in the bigger tray so that when he does kick out his bedding, or she, I should say, when she kicks out her bedding, it doesn't go everywhere on the house. It just go in the tray, and then all I got to do is empty the tray every day. So this is being remedied, and my kids stay up late, and hopefully I'm not showing you guys any personal information here um, my kids stay up late and we got tons of cups and stuff that need to be cleaned up basically just really uh, just an overall tidy fluff the couch cushions make those look good everything's been dusted in here I'll probably give uh, the coffee table a good wipe down and um, I will wipe down the front of my TV and just make sure it is good and tidy. And I will put out my throws and my pillows and everything and make all of that look better. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Let me show you a before. Kind of a little embarrassed because it's pretty bad. Not terrible, but bad. We got magazines out of sort. Oh. There we go. We got magazines. Couch needs kind of fixed. Piano bench is undone. Floor definitely needs to be swept from that little rodent. 
and um, I need to tidy up the coffee table from party night. I've got shoes, I've got a scale, and that's about it. And then, of course, I'm going to put my rug back down because I took it up the other day. Um, and, of course, I'm going to uh, get my steamer out. What I'm going to do is quickly steam from the bathroom all the way up to the kitchen. And then my kitchen is next to tackle, but I'll show you what this room looks like once I get it all tidied. Just a quick tip to share with you guys because I know when I first got married, I never would have thought about it. But when you have company and you sit, some sit over here and some sit over here, make sure you take your broom and go up underneath the couches because the person sitting over here can see everything under here. So I don't know. I have been to people's houses and I have seen things under the couch that I don't want to see like underwear. Um, so you guys make sure you get all of that clutter out from underneath your couch because you never know what might be under there okay hamster is gone uh, floor is all clean um, I am going to take a vacuum cleaner though and go all over this area here of my fireplace and on along the edge I felt like my broom didn't really get it all I light a candle in the living room and in the bathroom and they're both the same scent um, that way you don't have two going on um, I always turn on the lamp and then I turn out the big light and then we have enough light from the window and everything and it just kind of I don't know I feel like it's it's calming and it's inviting and it looks warm and cozy you get it so I got my uh, throws and my pillows out I've got my steam cleaner here and it's steaming up I've got my pine saw ready and I'm just gonna start in the bathroom in the hall work my way through and steam clean and vacuum that over there and then I'm done in here now my biggest task is gonna be the kitchen because I am entertaining with cooking so I need, I have to empty the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, put away some hand washed items. Um, I have some groceries that's sitting out that I have to, and I'll just show it to you. I don't even know why I'm blabbing. But see, I got dishes, um, dishes, <laughs> some hand wash items. I got to put the toaster up. These are groceries that I bought yesterday. All of this needs to be put up. Pizza box needs to be thrown in the garbage can work boots put up this area is pretty tidy I've scrubbed all of this down with bleach I just need to put away and tidy up my purse is here from yesterday um, I got to put up my studio lamp and I need to make some iced tea so I got to get going my um, I just shut the door on my laundry room but if you have an excess of laundry go ahead and start a load I had a lot of darks um, and I went ahead and started that and um, I have some darks waiting for me in the dryer but my company will have to be taken care of before I can even get to that so but we are ahead of the game when it comes to laundry I got to put a new liner in the trash because my husband just took it out make sure that you don't have garbage cans overflowing and all that when your company comes it's really not appealing and it looks horrible pay attention to areas of the house that they're going to see first first impressions are the first thing one thing always make sure your house smells good so when somebody comes in the house the first thing I notice is how their house smells I don't know maybe that's just me but I notice it so I always make sure that I give the house a good um, douse down of some type of deodorant spray maybe or um, uh, you know light candles if you have a sentency thing you can light it um, you know what you get the drift um, I make sure that my entryways are good and clean and dusted and that there's nothing on the floor when people come in that is the first appearance and the first thing that they see I always keep a bowl of potpourri here at the front door um, as well as family pictures always make the house seem really welcoming and um, you know I just like the way that appears there and our entryway is really narrow so I couldn't really do like a whole lot on the wall so I like the fact that frames are flat so I was able to decorate without having any bulk um, in this area of the house just a kind of an overview of you know how I do things 
Um, you know, this house is lived in, so there are things that I wish that weren't out, like uh, keys and chains and uh, books that my husband is using to work on cars and, you know, but the house is lived in, just make sure everything is just kind of as tidy as possible. I'm also going to take my um, chair cushions and put those out on the patio out there so that when if they sit in that couch and they look out, they'll see that my chairs have the pretty flowers out there and have the cushions on and it looks nice. Um, I do have a couple of things over there in the corner that I wish that wasn't there, but because I'm recarpeting my bedroom at the moment, um, those are just going to sit over there, you know, clean, but you know, just out of the way. So I'm going to get started guys, because I got a lot of work to do. Okay. Living room is all clean. Throw pillows are out. Rug is vacuumed. I cleaned that area and I just took the little gasket things off of the fireplace cover and I'm just going to run those through the dishwasher with the load of dishes that I have. Um, because they're just glass and um, you know instead of just sitting there with glass cleaner and a rag and taking 30 minutes to clean them all I just run them through the dishwasher every week and I got this couch all straightened out and I do need to put my Swiffer away it's sitting over here but everything is all clean through here and now I'm going to get started on the kitchen so guys my company is on the way and i have everything ready and everything settled for them to uh, be here i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i do to get ready for preparing for company and i will be talking to you guys again soon